Nobody wait. Oh yeah. I can't sing or I'll get DMCA'd. Should I go on my DMCA tirade again? I really don't watch that many streamers. There have been times I've watched them and they'll randomly start singing like lyrics to a song that's stuck in their head and then really quickly be like, oh shit, wait, I don't want to get uh, DMCA'd because of like the new DMCA uh, guidelines that came out that they're like really cracking down on. I have some thoughts. Oh, hello, rat friend. My main opinion on the whole DMCA thing is that artists 100% need to get paid and compensated for their work. That doesn't happen often enough. The big thing that happened that everybody was like, oh, it's hilarious, was uh, when Metallica was playing, they had like a Twitch stream and they got it muted and everyone was like, oh, it's hilarious because they did the original uh, Napster lawsuit. So it's, it's like karma, like they deserved it. Hold on a second. They are the reason that artists like indie artists and up and coming artists, people that put out music on SoundCloud and shit, and then finally make it to like Apple Music and Spotify and stuff like that. Metallica is the reason that those people make any money whatsoever from streaming. And they don't make a lot from streaming, but when you're trying to, like when you're just starting out as a musician, and you're trying to make a living and livelihood off of that, any type of money and any sort of money will help. Any bit of money will help. Honestly, I thought it was pretty like unintelligent that people were like, oh, it's fucking hilarious that, oh, it's all, it's all Lars's fault that they're getting muted right now. It's so funny. It's like, no, you're just a fucking moron. Anyways, I digress. So I'll watch streamers and they'll get a song stuck in their head and start to sing a couple lyrics, but then really quickly be like, Oh wait, hold on, I don't want to get a DMCA strike, or a copyright strike, on my channel. Because apparently you can get a strike just for singing lyrics. And that's up to, I don't know if it's up to Twitch, or if it's up to the artist whose song it is. But, I have like looked into it a little bit, and from what I have gathered, Twitch does allow musical covers of songs. Because a lot, there are tons of musicians on Twitch and tons of people that like stream themselves playing music on Twitch. So like with that new DMCA law, every single one of those channels would just like be completely out of work pretty much. Like people make a living off of that, which I, I'm not going to get into that because like I do covers on YouTube and stuff too. I also write my own music, but I've never put stuff out yet. If we're going to get into the whole thing like, oh, people should just write their own music instead of covering other people's. It's like, dude, music is, honestly, I'd be flattered if somebody covered my song. Whether you, whether you should make money off of it or not, that's a completely different debate. I'm getting sidetracked again. Anyways, so Twitch does allow covers as long as every single instrument is completely done by you. Let's stick with Metallica. Let's say I want to do a cover of Master of Puppets on Twitch and stream it. I would have to have written like MIDI drums, or if I'm a drummer, but let's, let's not do that. So I would have had to have written the drums like on a MIDI program, use those in the background. I would have had to written the bass and use that, I, and I would have to be playing the guitar myself. Like, all of that myself. That, I'm pretty sure, is okay by Twitch's guidelines. Oh no, bug girl, go away. I'm trying to explain DMCA. So, my big question then, is that the human voice, this isn't up for debate, the human voice is considered an instrument. That's literally not up for debate. Could you not also do vocals? on a song too and can like would that not be part of the vocal cover or part of like the cover as a whole and then going by that logic and taking that a step further if you were just on your channel one day and you started to sing lyrics of a song that's technically you doing an original rendition or a cover of that song like just a completely original cover when people are like oh i don't want to get a dmca strike I, I don't think you legally can get one if Twitch allows covers. See what I'm saying? That's at least, I'm obviously not a lawyer, I'm fucking stupid. That's just been my train of thought on this entire Twitch DMCA, I don't want to say debacle, but the laws are a little ridiculous. That like they can go back and like if you have, what is it, VODs 
like if, if you have that turned on, they can look at your past odds and like even if you had music playing in the background, they can look at that and like you can get a copyright strike because of that. And the whole like three strikes and you your channel's banned. Like for good. It's like, alright, that's a little extreme. The day and age we live in, it's almost impossible like with how the current laws are. Like they were written back I'm pretty sure we're still going off the same laws that we had in like 1999. And the way that the internet has evolved, especially with streaming music, like streaming platforms and things like Twitch, like streaming on Twitch and streaming on YouTube, like these laws have to adapt to that. So they absolutely need to get rewritten soon. Guarantee you they will, because people are not happy. But I, I did say it already, like artists need to be compensated for their work. There's no question about that. So when people say the argument like, oh, like, Metallica's super rich, they don't need the money. It's like, okay, they may not, but the indie band that you just played, they might. And then if it's a big name streamer that's playing their their uh, music and they're like, oh, well, their music just got exposed to however many viewers are watching this channel. They just got paid an exposure pretty much. You're an asshole, all right? That's plain and simple, like you're a gigantic asshole. That's the same mindset as people who support unpaid internships. There's really no other way to put that. Paying people an exposure is, that's just, I, I don't even want to get into that because it's just such a bullshit thing in our society and it's not okay. So I don't want to hear any of that. So that was a really long winded rant, but I think I covered all the, all the bases. Honestly, if she was chasing me, I wouldn't go anywhere. Alright. I can fix her.